Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel, see the soul the truth lies within and we have finished up with the 365 days that is complete one year of our blessings. You can check that out in the complete blessing list if you are listening to English. There's a complete list in the channel, the YouTube channel for English listeners and for the Hindi listeners also there's a complete list of 365 days of our blessings. And now we're going to count it again from day one. This is the second year but day one of our blessings. So we are talking about yesterday's blessing and what does Baba have to say because Baba is teaching us methods to prepare ourselves for the end of days that's what God does God says I am the purifier when I come down on earth I have to teach my children to become soul conscious and to be elevated from worldly attachments and be ready to go back with him home so God comes to take us all, all of his children back home but if we have got attachments to things to people then it becomes very difficult to return home so God says in this blessing let's see the title he says may you become an avyakt angel somebody who doesn't think about thoughts of this world and bodiless we came bodiless while coming down on earth and how do we return back we have to leave our bodies we means we souls, we energies have to leave our bodies and go back along with father back to his abode. So Baba says, may you become an awake angel and bodiless by applying a powerful break and going beyond any gross consciousness. Gross, you understand, gross means physical consciousness of things. And when we are connected to physical consciousness of things and people, it will become very difficult for us souls to leave our body because if you've got attachments, if you've got connections, deeper connections to things and people regarding our identity, which is a false identity, that's what spirituality teaches us. The real identity is that we are souls and we have taken everything on this earth on loan. Even this body and everything around us is on loan and it is transitory. But do we practice that? That's what we learn at Brahma Kumaris. How do we practice it and how do we become unattached to things around us? When God says in the explanation, you can put a full stop in a second even in the midst of a noisy atmosphere all around. That's what we do when we are going out somewhere. Once we have learned the process of meditation, even if there's a fight going on on the road, in the community, in the city anywhere or in the place where we are going, you can actually turn yourself completely off from the situation and not get affected by it. Yes, that's the power of the soul. You can put a full stop to your thoughts of why, when, what, who, how. And that's what we do. So the God says you can put a full stop in a second even in the midst of a noisy atmosphere all around and go beyond any gross consciousness. So God says when you have fully applied the break, you will be said to be an avyakt angel and bodiless. But if our thoughts go into, why did it happen? How come it happened? How can that person do something like this? God says that is because you've got attachments to things, to outcomes, to people. And we generally think that that is normal. But God says that is what makes you heavier in your mind. And I give you the knowledge of becoming lighter in your mind and still solve the situation. Then God says you need to practice this a lot now. Why now? That's the most important part. Because natural calamities can come suddenly. They don't announce and come. Covid did not announce and come. Cyclones do not announce and come. Earthquakes do not announce and come. So God says, are you ready for them? What will be the state of your mind at that time? So God says, at that time, do not let your intellect go anywhere else. So generally people will think about, oh, my children are there in the house and earthquakes, earthquake has come. Oh, there's a typhoon. My husband was in the car. He was driving towards that same direction. How do I do? What do I do? And God says, if you are going to think those thoughts of negative vibrations, impure thoughts, how, when, what, where, then those vibrations are going to go to those souls and they're going to make those souls even more jittery, more confused, more negative, and they won't be having the power to take decisions. So your thoughts can actually affect people many, many miles away from you also. So what do we do then? God says that's why you have to put a full stop, a powerful break to your thoughts. And then do what? 
So God says at that time, do not let your intellect go anywhere else. Let it be simply the father and I. So it has to go to in remembrance of father and I. It doesn't mean that you have to sit down and you have to cross your legs in certain meditation. You can be standing up. You can be in an awkward position because of the earthquake, because of the typhoon. You could be huddled up, huddled up in one place, one small room. But still you could be in connection with God and God will, who is the protector of you, guide you as to what to do in that situation. As compared to you being completely confused, panicky, not knowing what to do, that's the time to actually be connected to Father and I. That's it. One Godfather and I. Nothing matters to me at that time. God says, let it be simply the Father and I. But where is he? Who is he? That's very important to know because without knowing that, we cannot be connected to God the Father. We might think that we are calling out to God, but we don't know where our mind should go. The mind has a practice of going to people, to think about people, to worry about things, people, home, our uh, possessions. God says that's the time. In the end of days, you won't have the time to even think about me if you don't have my knowledge, if you haven't practiced getting connected to me. So keep your intellect focused on where you want it to be. For this, you need the powers to accommodate accommodate that situation, accommodate the condition around you and to pack up. Pack up means if I have expanded too much into things, too much into relations, too much into possessions, then the mind will not be able to pack up from all those situations and people and things and come to one point and be able to connect to God. That's why God says practice simplicity. So what are these powers to accommodate and what are these powers to pack up? That's what we learn at Brahma Kumaris and we practice it in our daily meditation. And then God says, and you will then be able to go into the flying stage. That means you'll be able to leave your body without a scratch. And that's what we learn at Brahma Kumaris. How do we reach that point where we don't leave our body with a lot of stress and tension and problems and issues. And we also help other souls out to do the same. Now that is a knowledge, a secret of knowledge which is given out at Brahma Kumari's Godly Spiritual University. Even you can go ahead and learn that. With this, Om Shanti. Mm -hmm.